Hello, I'm Casual Paper Beat Stop Power. Today we're going to take a look at the new mastering tool built into FL Studio 21.2 Beta. Now, this is actually a really good tool from what I've seen so far. Now, I was working on a little jazz piece earlier. I'm going to let you hear a tiny bit of it. As you can see, I have a little slight mix on this, but on my master channel, I have no effects other than two meters. I have a loudness meter and I have a spectrum analyzer. This is for my RMS, root mean square, and LUFS, loudness units full stop. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the new tool and render this out and analyze it and see if it can get it close to that 14 LUFS that we need for YouTube, all right? Now, I want to also point out, now, I don't have a, as you can see, there's no soft clipper or anything like that. So, my transients are going to be high. So, I could, if I mix this a little nicer, we would get a better master. But I want to do this with just a rough mix to see it, see how it works. So, we can go ahead and export. And then you see how they got this little cloud symbol and master. Now, by that cloud symbol being there, it's, it sort of makes me think. This is going to be a paid service or um, subscription type service where you might be able to do like say 10 free per month. But anything more than that they might charge you. I, that's just my feeling. I don't know because if this is AI and it has to hit their server, they're going to want to recoup that that charge. That's just my feeling but let's go and see how it does. All right. So the top is just um, file name and location. It's going to be basically the default project name and folder. Uh, export type, we're going to cut remainder, leave all this the same quality, put this up to 256, wait a minute, go back, what did that say, okay, slowest, that's okay, 256, we're going to leave dithering off, um, and this is the part that we want, right, we want to target, so you can change your LUFs here, we want to target YouTube, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on YouTube, which is minus 14 LUFs, the first reference track, it's going to spit out um, a couple reference tracks, the first one, we want to leave it on auto. The second one, we want to pick jazz blues because this is sort of a jazz type song that I'm working on here. And we're going to go ahead and click start. Now, you think we're only doing 12 bars here, so this shouldn't take too long. Of course, if this was a full song, it's going to take at least four times this time. And I still don't think it's too long for what we're doing here. Now, when it, I'm not 100% sure, but I think when it says this top one, when it mixed down, I think it just spit out the track without any adjustments to it first, and then give us A and B, but I'm not 100% sure, but we'll take a look. Okay, so now we have the three files, so the original one, like I said, I think this is just... That first one when it did the mix down, I think that's this our original. Which we heard this before. This is just the original song. And then we're gonna go over to now the automatic. We stop this. The automatic picked this up as rock pop. I'm not 100 percent sure why, but we're gonna take a listen to that one. Now we on the rock pop. And it's definitely more full. They definitely um, increase the body here. I'm gonna let it get over here, okay. Okay, now let's listen to the third option. This is actually very similar to A. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit select. Now what we can do, it tells us here our ma um this master sample files, I'm sorry, it says this master sample files was created. I would probably reword that. All right, show files. All right, so now we have A, B, and then it says casual jazz master. Let's pull them all into our project and see what they sound like, all right?
So we're going to pull the master in. And we're going to pull A and B. And I'm doing them separately for... I, I know I could um, highlight them and bring them both in all at the same time. But I just want to do this separately. Okay. Whoa. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let me increase this. All right, so now we're going to listen to the one that says master first. And I'm going to bring up the Luffs analyzer so we can see what kind of levels we're looking at. And this is this top one, just jazz master. It's really good. Minus seven, um, seven dB. Okay, that's actually really good. Let's listen to the next one. Now we have um, A here. I want to bring up the analyzer again. Now look at our true peaks down here. So it's a little louder. Another great master. So let's listen to B. I, I, I really that A was good, really good. Now, I, for some reason, I think B is going to be the same as this top one. But let's take a listen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> on that last, <clears throat> excuse me. On that last screen, when I selected. B, that became our master. So the two reference tracks they gave us A and B. I had highlighted B and selected. So this track here is identical to the one that I selected to B. All right. So that's basically how this works. I think it's excellent. Um, I could go in and clean up this mix, render it again, and come up with a much nicer and probably get us a little closer to minus fourteen luffs long term. But for a free tool, which I believe is going to be free for the most part, at least partially free, this is actually really nice. Okay, I'm Casual K. Y'all have a nice day.